Good afternoon, everybody. Alexander here, Highwind GDC, and I got another disassembly of this guy right here for you. This is a Koenig Mini Goblin uh, with the Warncliffe style M390 blade. This, I believe, is a hollow grind, uh, which comes down to a really, really thin edge. Let's uh, try to focus up. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Um, frame lock style knife with a knife uh, with the lock bar insert, a bronze backspacer, um, a somewhat uh, shallow carry clip, flipper, sorry, that's due to the action being a little off, and with a modified fuller on the back side. We'll take a look at that real quick. Come on, focus up, focus up. Yeah, with a modified fuller by AR Knife Mods. You can see the goblin etched in there. It's like a shark style and then M390 blade steel. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Focus up here, there we go. All right. Uh, the construction is in T8, so we're gonna be able to do a lot with just this. So let's get into it. The pivot is gonna start on this side. Uh, one thing that I have been having an issue with is that this screw has been constantly backing out. Let's try to get more focus up over here. Uh, it's because there's no lock thread on it. So we're going to put a little bit on here, lock tight. And uh, yeah, we're just going to start breaking this thing apart. It's probably going to come off of this side. That felt like there's a little bit of lock tight on there. Let's double check. These body screws are the T8 head as well. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the construction. Come on, let's go. There's your screw there. I'm going to be using Gunny Glide on this. I'm going to do this back one here. The heck? Come on, fit in there. There it is. There that goes. This one's going to be right there. And then the last one is going to come here. I don't know how this is going to fall apart exactly, but it already feels like it's trying to spring loose, which is totally fine. That one came out just fine. Let's see, let's see, will it come loose? It's wanting to, yes. From the frame side, you got these pins and then boom, your lock side comes off just great. There's that big fat washer on it. So that's really nice, it's very dirty. There's another fat washer in there as well. And it does have on the lock side, a, um, a race washer in there for your bearing side, but since you're using phosphorus bronze, these originally come with bearings, but since you're using a phosphorus bronze washer on this, it's kind of uh, just kind of inset in there. There's your lock bar insert with the over travel stop right here. That's really exciting. Got a stop pin. And uh, here's how your clip is screwed on. So from the inside, that's pretty cool. So now you don't have any uh, any screw showing from the the screw which i mean if you're if you're trying to get rid of screws then just use two of these body screws or heck even one kind of mill something in here as a shoulder of some sort there is your female side the female side is going to come over here we are going to use some gunny glide it's a good little um what would you call it lubricant Take these out, try to. There, popped out, cool. So yeah, we've got it disassembled. Uh, we're gonna leave this as it is. There's no need for us to take off that backspacer, but let's get a look at the construction. Let's see, what does this say? This one says GMKO two through three, so. I don't know what any of that stuff means. Come on, focus up, GMK 2.3. So yeah, cool. Take a look at this. This is all interesting. This is all new to me, how they do this. Um, this is, I assume, where the stop pin goes and you uh, go around there. It's got a great little lock ramp, uh, detent ramp right here, so that's good. Um, the detent hole is all the way through and through. That's really nice. I like to see that. And then this side, of course, is milled out as well. So cool. We've got it disassembled. Let's clean it up and put it back together. Um, I'm going to try not to take too long doing this. Just uh, 
because it's pretty cut and dry. There's nothing special. It's not like a shark lock or anything like that. It's just a regular frame lock. And uh, hold on, I have to go. Uh, I have to go get the door for my wife. Ugh. All right, she's inside. So yeah, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. Make sure that the lock bar's clean. Yeah. Look at this. Now I haven't sharpened it, but I have stropped it up, and so far it's dropped up very nice. So we're not mad about that. Get in there. Trying to get in here as well cool it's pretty yucky right there where that detent ball is that detent hole is I wonder why anyways clean up this side over here as well then we'll get the washers and then we'll get the uh, pivot Pretty clean. Those are nice and thick, though. Look at how thick those are. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, very thick washers. Pretty intense. Cool. Uh, we're going to start with this side, right? Yep. There it goes. I guess there is a little bit of a catch, like a, a D side or something. It's this little guy right here. I'm trying to zoom, focus in on this. There's like a, I guess a hump shape cut out right there. And that's what you got to spin into place and it's supposed to fit in right there to that hump space right there so let's try to get that back in there there all right and then you get yourself a washer put it back in there nothing to that really you can get your lubricant and just easily Get a couple of dabs in there. Oh, that was way too much, Alexander, but we can use it to decorate the, the pivot as well. <laughs> kind of get some on the ramp as well. Perfect. Get some right here where the blade goes or where the washer's gonna come on this side. your washer back on there I love how the stop pin has not um, messed up any like hasn't come out yet so that's great we're we missing anything nope we're not so we should be able to just kind of get everything back in alignment really quick grab our pivot screw get ready and just kind of boom just just get it in place we're not trying to Put it all back together right this moment because with that pivot screw I am gonna lock tight it with medium uh, strength lock tight uh, and the reason for that is because like I said I was experiencing um, the pivot screw backing out and uh, it would throw off the action it would either make it too loose and then I'd go back to tighten it and then with the tolerances being as tight as they are if I tightened it like even a hair, uh, a, mi a minor scoosh or a, a scoot or whatever, it would uh, over tighten it. So then the action would be too tight. So we got these tightened up. Go ahead and get this one as well. Cool. It's already tight. Look, already tight. Let's see. Go ahead and get this out. I'm gonna get a little cloth right here. I'm gonna pour out some Loctite on it. Give me a moment. Yeah, let's 
That's my bag of goodies right there. There we go. That's going to be enough, I think. We kind of did a pour over method on that. But that should work. We reverse thread it to get the threads to lock back up in the tightness. And then we just twist. Check the centering on it. It's a little, little off, but it wasn't as bad as when I first got it. Even then, look, still tight. Even then, still too tight. So you just come in, back it off just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Drop shutty, and then the centering is almost perfect. So yeah, now we let that lock tight sit, and uh, it'll go into the mail, and I'll send it back to Rocky Top. Thank you for letting me uh, get in on this, my friend Parker, um, Rocky Top Customs on Instagram. He's the one who sent this over. Uh, we really appreciate stuff like that, man. There's a couple of guys. Forgive me, I uh, kind of cut out there, lost some storage, but I cleared it out, and um, what I had to say was... Uh, just really appreciative of the guys who are constantly sending me things to keep the channel going. Uh, content like this, Rocky Top, um, uh, we got Turbo EDC, Ezra's Daily Carry, uh, Shenanigans EDC. He's going to be sending me over a pen. I just, I just really appreciate stuff like that, guys. It really means a lot to me. It helps me keep the channel going and uh, partaking in a hobby that I absolutely love. And it keeps me like involved and um, knowledgeable. So if I if I didn't have a friend like Rocky. Um, I wouldn't have this, right? And if I didn't have this, then I wouldn't be able to speak. I, I wouldn't be able to speak on it and like have a reference of knowledge, which I think is very powerful. Having uh, a good reference, a good reference of knowledge, is uh, pretty key in this uh, community because uh, you know I may not be able to handle every single knife in existence, but the more exposure I can get to knives um, and gear uh, like this, the more I'll be able to. Um, say calmly and confidently about so yeah anyways that's all i had to say on that um, please like subscribe comment and i really hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh disassembly video thanks bye